Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Do. Today I have, for the first time in a while, having two students with me, Carrie and Dead Guy. Hey guys. Hello. Although in this case, Carrie is less of a um, student because she actually has read it. But given the book at hand, I figured I needed a female perspective given some of the story elements in this. Those of you who do know about this book, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So, without um, talking about uh, giving too much about the actual story, Carrie, tell me what is what's been your history with this book. Um, I was one of those people. Like, I was really interested to see what the mystery was. Who was the mm -hmm. murderer? Who was behind all of it? Um, I kind of felt left down in the end. Uh, oh, the yeah. scene, the scene we're gonna um, talk about was kind of like surprising how close to the line they went with it yeah and when we get to that i have an interesting story that happened in the comic book store <laughs> Ooh. but before we get started i want to point out the artist rags morales he has been um known for using actors as inspiration not like he's not like alex ross the others who actually traced it he just takes inspiration for example elongated man um he was based off of David Danny Kay with a little bit of Dick Van Dyke because he was one of the original models for the character for the actor <laughs> and for the character and um um and, and then um Sue Dibney that's Ralph's wife Dawn <laughs> Wells Marianne okay. from uh, Gilligan's Island um fire the character Firehawk he used Patty Hearst for that one Green Arrow. He used Lane Staley, the deceased lead singer of Alice in Chains. So Lane, Lane Staley, Lane yeah. Staley. Yeah. Um, Gene <laughs> Loring, Leslie Ann Warren, aka if you know the, the Clue movie, Miss Scarlet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Adam, he would use a young Paul Newman. Batman, well, at least in the unmasking sequence, he used a mustacheless Tom Selleck. Um, for the for the Wally West Flash, he used Brad Pitt. For the Barry Allen Flash, he used John Hurt. For the Tana, Phoebe Cates, Black Canary, Rebecca, a mixture of Rebecca Romaine Stamos and Michelle Pfeiffer. Superman, okay. he never really, he basically he wanted to go for the original Joe Schuster, so he researched Buster Crab, who was one of the original ver um, stuff Schuster used. But it didn't come out right, so he just did his own blend. Nightwing, he used Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. Starfire, really? yep, Starfire, Naomi Campbell, Wonder Woman, Julie Strain, Hal Jordan, Pierce Brosnan, mostly for his head shape. Um, Kyle Rayner, he tried to go as Freddie Briggs Jr., but EVS suggested a Calvin Klein model. Vixen was trying to go for Grace Jones, but somehow she became Gina Davis. <laughs> The Shining Knight, John Cleese, obvious. Um, <laughs> Firestorm, Josh Myers. The Calculator, James Woods. You'll so see that when you see it. Merlin was Ricardo Montalban, Khan from Star Trek, among others. Captain Boomerang, Ron Jeremy. <laughs> um, Owen, that was Captain Boomerang's son. Justin Timberlake. Um, Phobia and Dr. Moon, yeah, Moon. Carolyn Jones, the original Morticia. And Jerry Lewis. Um, those are two separate characters. Kronos, <laughs> the New York Yankees Mets manager, Joe Torre, Felix Faust, um, Leonard Nimoy, and Mirror Master, Eric Roberts. But, yeah, so let's just get started with this. Now, this identity crisis. This, written by Brad, Mar and Brad Meltzer and Rags Morales on artwork, this was an event, but it was a very different event. And for so many, this is when DC started becoming more under, especially under Daniel Deal's regime, became more Marvel-like. And this was a gateway book for a lot of people. But these days, it's not looked fondly upon. Let's see if you, um, what you think um, on that guy as we go through this. Okay. Opo City. Um, as we're seeing, uh, like there's like Doc, and Doctor Fate once told me, life is a mystery. Um, any idea what's inside? Nope. Aren't you curious? Of course I'm curious. White boys only come down here for drugs or trouble. Who wouldn't be curious? So, any guesses? Gu oh, this is, I'm, I'm talking about uh, gun, uh, guns? Not unless they're feeding an army. 
could still be weaponry. I heard someone had an Amazo on the black market. Um, on what if it is Amazo? It's not Amazo. What if it is? We we'll call we call for help. You don't think we could take him, Ralph? You okay, Ralph? What's wrong? I thought this was fun for you. Fun? You're seeing a plastic man. For me though, sure, mysteries are fun. Mysteries I can laugh at. Villains though, I don't like villains. What makes you think there's a villain involved? The nose. When I met Green Arrow, he told me your nose doesn't really twitch when there's a mystery. You just made that up to get more print and press. <laughs> Green Arrow has a ball spot. That's why he wears the hat. Um, then, now, oh, I love this one. What's he like? Was he nice? Green Lantern's always nice. Is he still handsome? He was always so handsome. Martha, he was. He was handsome. By the way, uh, Ma, I picked this up at the planet. I told you, I, and you didn't have to send a check. That wasn't addressed to you. I didn't open it. But you looked inside. Clark, we're perfectly capable of paying for our own subscription. It's okay, Ma. I can put you on the comp list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send it in again. You can't stop me. Actually, I think I, I bet and Batman never does this to his parents. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Too soon? Yeah, I, you send in your check, Ma. I'll Justice League signal device. I told Jean to call only if it was a, oh, no. I have to go. Pa, do me a favor and lock the doors. Uh, uh, Nightwing and Starfire, former lovers. I hate coming here. There was the first lesson Bruce taught me. Never forget. He's there to see his parents. I thought, I thought you could use the company. How'd you find me? We dated for all those years, Dick. I still remember how you celebrate your parents' anniversary. Bruce was wrong about one thing. You don't have to do everything alone. Thanks for coming, Kari. Really. And Dick, it's Barbara. Turn your signal on. We got some bad news. Oh, God. Sahal. Uh, Star City. Ugh. Come on, kid. That's all you... And you got left? You couldn't... And knock down the, the scarecrow with that punch. Funny, considering it put you on your, down on your rear ten minutes ago. That was a lucky punch. Actually, it was two. What are you talking about? You didn't tag me twice. Sure he did, old man. And, and sure he did, old man. Rat a tat tat, and one right after the other. Oh, that's right. You couldn't see it. You were too busy falling on your keister. You should be proud out, Ollie. Your boy's lightning. Yeah, he is. We should get going, Connor. You coming, Ted? Sue's throwing her annual surprise party for and for Ralph. Elongated man. It's tradition. She sets up a mystery that he thinks is real. Years ago, he had Barry dressed up to surprise him. This year, she's got me, uh, got me jumping out, out of the cake at the end. What's wrong? Another sentient galaxy tra attack? D Dad, I think the party just got canceled. And again, 70 minutes till now. So, how'd you meet your wife? Can I can I say one thing, and not to be sexist, but but when you, I mean, you're on a stakeout with Batman, he never asked that. And Black <laughs> never asked that. So does Zatanna. Power Girl didn't. God bless her. But that's so how'd you meet her? How'd I meet her? She noticed me across a, a room. And it's the one problem with having your identity be public. Once they get a nipple, they always want more. But the truth is, I didn't love the attention. I would have become a fire a man. I think, and she thinks I'm kidding. She's wrong. The only thing I never joke about is Sue. Didn't you crash her debutante ball or something? Then fall in love at first sight or some vomity thing like that? Since the day we uh, day we went public, there have been four unauthorized biographies, two TV movies, and a forest of gossip and column hits. They all get it wrong. Only friends get the truth. And we met when we were ba and both basically kids. And it wasn't just that she noticed me; it was that she didn't notice him. Who's him? Who do you think? I loved him like a brother. But don't forget when where we were. This was Central City back in the day, his day. He came by at the end to, end to get me out of there. It was like trying to compete with Sinatra, but that's why ice cream stories don't just ice cream stores don't just sell chocolate and vanilla. Every once in a while, someone walks in and orders Peter and, and butter pecan. What? He told me you got and you'd get mushy about her. If you knew Sue, you'd understand. She's met everyone. Batman, Flash, Arthur, Hal. She's seen Hawkman with the hairy chest thing going. Come on, she's looked directly into Superman's Melt Your Heart Baby Blues, and she still chose me. So, Wonder Woman, Diana's beautiful, but to me, she's second best. I love Sue. 
Don't you understand, Lorraine? It's not just that she believes in me. She's my lady. Now, there's the Dick Van Dyke look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see it now. God, you're making you're, you're making me cry. I'm just telling you how I feel. So all the other stuff is true, too. She really does do the mystery on your birthday thing. Why do you think she rushed me out, on uh, uh, out the door on patrol tonight? I haven't gone on patrol since I was in the league. Wait, today's your birthday? No, it's not for months. She thinks by doing it early, she'll catch me off guard. She did the same thing years ago when she had Flash dress up as an old man to surprise me. She's doing the same thing this year as Green Arrow. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. You already know the surprise. The league didn't let me in just because I could stretch my ear down a chimney. The detective skills always came first. <laughs> so, so every year she tries to surprise you, and every year I act completely surprised. I told you, she's my lady. If she's going to go to all that trouble to make me happy, you think I'm going to ruin it all by telling her I knew? I still I can't believe it. The Daily Planet ran a whole section of, on the, those mysteries. And now, all these years, you knew? Sorry to disappoint, but right now, the only real mystery is what's sitting in that box. So we're seeing Bolt is there waiting for all them to be coming um, for everything to go down. Like, I already gave, and he's talking with the calculator, who's trying to get things all planned out. All right. So, yeah, I, I get, and basically this whole thing is just a lot of talking as they're just getting things, you know, we're getting a good understanding of um, Meltzer redefining the calculator, who used to be a guy just in a calculator suit, but now he's become the villain that's Oracle. Yeah. This was the first time what actually happened was during this story, actually. I can't port something that big. That's why I brought the car. Damn. Um, I don't know, Bolt. Some of these heroes aren't as tough as you think. Aren't you worried, though? I mean, I know your idea's been out for years, but, well, even if you can stretch yourself through a hail of bullets, Sue is. Sue's a target. You can say it. Anyone who puts on a, co a costume paints the bullseye on his family's chest. But that doesn't terrify you? Why do you think I had her live in the League, Church of the League Embassy all those years? But now, have you seen the security in our apartment? Sanagarian, Martian, and Kryptonian technology. Not to mention all the extra upgrades um, Steel stole from a mother box. So yeah, I think about it every day. Maybe she should get, and maybe she should get you a nuclear bunker for your birthday. Actually, I'm guessing she went with something a little more obvious. Don't tell me. Antique magnifying glass, circa 1860. Sterling silver parcel handle, very nice. We passed one in an antique shop in Belgium. I stopped to look. Sue followed my eye. She tried to stay in front, but I could see her reflection. She was working hard to memorize the name of the shop. See, that's why I don't date detectives. A friend of mine once dated the question, Nightmare! <laughs> Anticipated everything, including the breakup, plus all the niche quotes and gave her a headache. Like I said, butter pecan. Yeah, it just got here, Alfred. Thanks for helping me track it down. I never would have remembered the name of the shop. Um, my husband thinks he's so clever. And he is, which is exactly why he'll guess the magnifying glass. But what I add in the box, hello? Ollie, is that you? Even Sherlock Holmes doesn't have a chance to get of guessing. Do you ever wish you could take it back? You know, put the mask on and get back your privacy? Why? <laughs> so you never had a ch and, and any close calls? No villains hiding behind your shower curtain? Just once, but that was a long time. Betty, don't. Betty, as the guy's getting close. Betty, don't be. Like, here we go. Stupid. You better have our money. Who said anything about money? Oh, crap. So Bolt got shot because he wasn't expecting them to have guns. Oh, God. All right, Ralph, please, are, are you there? Sue? Oh, Sue! Is she okay? Fly me home. I can't. I can't just turn and shut the flames in my, ha in my hands. I'll burn you. Fly me home now. Good and goodbye, Sue. And in the box was Lex's power suit. Oh. <sighs> Come on, Trey, let's go. I'm serious. Come on. What's wrong with you, freaking psychos? What are you looking at? Call an ambulance, please. Need I need an ambulance. Don't worry. So, hey, the guy's actually saving Bolt's life. <sighs> Again, it's trying to show that even villains can be human. Mm-hmm. You're going to be fine. Sue. The sprinklers do their job. I don't see her. And then I do. I stretch as fast as I can. But I'm still not fast enough. And it turns out she was pregnant. 
Ruh -roh. That was the big surprise. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, One hour from now. And from now. As we're seeing um, Tim with his dad, I spent my night beating the shit and the snot out of the Mad Hatter, who admittedly can't fight. Adrenaline still has me buzzing like a hummingbird. Now, by this point, he, his dad knew the truth. Yeah. Anyone shoot at you tonight? Uh, tonight? Dad, please don't worry about And We're getting word. Police in Opal City are reporting that Sue Dibney, wife of the elongated man, has been found dead in her apartment. Again, we're still getting details. Else. Oh, for a boy. They've been married for 20 years. Meanwhile, we're seeing a um, 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 well, black lightning and katana. You don't miss it? I know why she's here. After my niece was killed and then stepping down as secretary of education, it's been a tough few months. What, and what's the miss? Outsmarting Ocean Master, getting slapped around by the KGBs? He wasn't really named KGBs, was he? Swear to God, he. <laughs> I don't care what everyone else is buying. I've got 50,000 shares of Stag Industry, and right now it's doing even worse than that Ferris crap you sold me last year. You're, so you're done wearing the mask? Don't be fooled. These days, the costume I'm wearing right now is far more threatening than the one with lightning bolts down the shoulders. Besides, with my daughter, I don't care if it's all, all the airline stocks are in the to and, and I don't care if it's all the airline stocks are in the toilet. It's still my money you're losing. Sir, we usually ask that cell phones. Get back in the kitchen, Pacho. And he knocks out the pot in the phone. Hello? You there? What'd you do? Nothing. See, I knew you missed it. You just can't leave it behind, Jeff. But, and then we're seeing um, Ray Palmer, Adam, meeting up with Gene Loring. They've been divorced. He didn't have to wait. Really? Then who would pick up the phone? Gene, I'm fine. It's fine, Ray. I'm just busting your chops. That's what divorce wives do. Now, can you sign the papers? I'd like to get them filed tomorrow. You know you don't have to do this. I'm aware. Now, sign before my lawyer mode kicks in and I decide to take double. So, how's your architect friend? Nathan, is it? Ray, where, man, where the hell are you? We broke up. It's Sue. She's dead. Dead? What are you talking about? That was Ollie. Sue's dead? I have to go. Fine, take me with you. Jean, and Jean, I've known her and, or, and just as long as you have, you, Ray. Now, come on. Ralph needs us. Years ago, Sue's death would have been chaos. But after Clark's death, we got organized. Contingency plans were made. Notification and contact charts were put in place. By the time I was buried, we knew how to deal with it. It's a part of our lives. And these days, sadly, we're good at it. Barbara, and Barbara, do you hear me? And did you hear from Doc Magnus? We're right on schedule, Ollie. He'll be there. No doubt. And no doubt Oracle put the word out and quick. Some, however, were called before others. What Bruce fine? Nothing from the sound of it. No force entry. All alarms were still on. Not even a carpet fiber out of place. Everything matched what Ralph said when he took and took his, his look. Yeah, but Ralph, I know. He was a mess. He could have missed a dozen of details. But according to Bruce, he was as sharp as ever. Don't forget, it's still his wife. Trust me, I know what death does to you. All right, Ollie, t um, crime scene's done. Uh, and results soon. Just don't touch anything! <laughs> <laughs> it's Bruce's biggest flaw. I don't care how good he is. I don't care how well trained. At the end of the day, when all is said and done, like me, like my son, like so many of us, he's only human. Okay, boys, time to do it right. As we're seeing, Mr. Miracle um, um, do, and doing through it. The, um, the, um, the uh, metal men are trying to use all of their ability to check through everything. The Atom is searching through all that. You have um, the Ray using his Spectrum stuff. All of this stuff to figure out, and and even Adam Man, Man is there, and yet nothing. They still figure out nothing. The funeral is called for new. Ralph wanted it in Central City, where they met. The funeral home gave us the option of rolling it in. We refused, and to be honest, and Carter could lift it by himself. Still, Sue's uncle asked if he could take the in the back corner, where it's heaviest. Uh, on three. One, two, we don't argue. We live together like a team. Three. To no one's surprise, McKerners ca came from as far away as Star City. Some are here and there to honor Sue. Others are paying their respects to Ralph. And sad to say, others are there just to get a look at us. One look around reminds me why I hate funerals, especially when, they, when we're in costume. 
but that's what happens when you go public. If we wore suits, the flash bulbs would pop even faster. You can't keep everyone out everyone. Even if Zatanna and Dr. Fate wiped the film, someone would eventually get a look, memorize a face, and tomorrow morning the rest of our families would have bullets in their heads. I glance over at Ralph. One, once more and then enough. Once more than enough. Clark, Bruce, Ray, myself, Carter, and Ralph, the sixth new member inducted into the league. He made it his life. And Sue's. Every day they were proud to be there. Truly proud. Together, they stuck with it longer than almost anyone. And when the league went international, they even made Sue an honorary member. Even Lois isn't an honorary member. Barry said it was uh, when he nominated Ralph for membership. Uh, Clark and Bruce may be the bricks, but Ralph and Sue, they were the mortar. They still are. Everyone except, except and Clark, uh, everyone expects Clark, but Diana knew, uh, knew her better. Good for Ralph. It's the kind of speech that quoted and that's quoted in Bartlett years from now. I barely hear a word. From what we can tell, uh, Sue was killed by third degree burns, over 42% of her body. Captain Adam, forever the military man, keeps us organized. The suspect list slowly grows. Heat wave, heat stroke, Dr. Phosphorus, plasmas, scorch, firefly, firebug, and firefist. All but three are at large. According to the sensors in the apartment, the killer never opened a single door or window. On top of that, the walls are lined with some sanitary device that can record if someone's phasing. Nothing was tripped. No physical evidence of any kind, in and out, instant, instantaneously. At least teleporters. Warp, Bolt, Mirror Master, Peekaboo, and Shade, who I don't count, count um, almost impossible to lock up. All at large. I, I, I look up when I hear the crack in Diana's voice. She fights it back down. No tears. Goodbye, sister. When I called last night to see how Ralph was doing, Dinah said he was so bad he could barely hold his form. Ralph, you don't have to. No, I do. He's silent for the first 30 seconds. Come on, Ralph. One minute. You can do it, pal. Be strong. I can't. I'm sorry. Notice he can't hold it together. Teams form quickly. The Titans think it's a new brotherhood attack. They go for plasmids and warp. The old Justice League International hunts for firelight find Scorch. The Outsiders take heat stroke. Jean and Arthur, who both buried children, search for Mirror Master. The mood they're in, he better hope they don't find him. The Justice Society picks Dr. Phosphorus. Beetle and Booster take a crew for Heat Wave. I even make small talk with Robin to make sure Bruce is accounted for. He's back in the cave, running tests which leaves the rest of the league to go after Bolt. They're all good guesses. They're all uh, you, uh, unquestionably wrong. That's which is why we're here. Hawkman, Adam, Canary, Zatanna, and myself. Dinah hates the lying. So does Z. This one's too big. We don't have a choice. They're gone. Where's Ralph say to meet him? There, and there's a private chapel in the back. We should hurry, though. It's been years since all five of us were together. I wish, and it, I could say it felt great. But all it does is remind me of things I'd rather forget. You sure it was? De and please, Dinah, uh, who else would want to kill the killer? It's too Dimney, for Christ's sake. I'm not proud we did it, but we did. To this day, it's still our secret. Clark and Diana would never understand. And keeping it from Bruce and Arthur and all the rest, it still twists like a corkscrew in my chest. Of the seven, after Hal and Barry died, we're the only ones left. Ralph, and Ralph doesn't know the rest, does he? No. But he was there for the end. He saw what happened. When he was up at the podium, Ralph could barely hold himself together. Literally. Are they gone yet? But as we step inside, that man is long gone. You don't need telescopic vision to see it. The arch in his shoulder, the sudden sharpness in his chin and nose. Ralph, before you, come on, Z. We all know who did this. We never put it in the league archives, but we were all there. Zatanna once explained that all human experience and, and can be mapped by seven aspects. Do you understand? He wrecked my life. Wrecked it. Without a care. You more than anyone, Z. I was there when your mom died. You know what it's like. W what he did. He asked for this. Not us. So it's no surprise when and, and that when the human rubber band loses everything, he's going to quickly whiplash from despair to destruction. Help me find Dr. Light. How was that for that first issue? I'm not going to do all the details. Of that. I just want to do that for the first issue. I liked it. it. It almost has a Watchmen feel to it. 
Uh, Carrie? I, like I said, in the beginning, I liked it a lot with this whole mystery. You wanted to know who was doing it. You wanted to know, like... But he uh, made it too perfect. He made it too perfect of a mystery. It, true. And then, and later on, the results of that. <laughs> I don't and want to spoil it. And it's a mystery. Like it's not even a main part of the plot. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, but basically now we're seeing El, uh, after everything that happened now, we're seeing um, Ray going to Jean, giving her a crossbow. Something to keep her protected. And, you know, saying, whatever you're up to, be careful. Now they wind up go and go after and find Dr. Light. And like, are you, like Carter, are you okay? And Kay, I see you, Wally. I know what you're doing. Ky and Kyle, I see you too. How'd you do that? I bluffed. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> but yeah, basically they want to find out what's going on. Wally, this isn't about you. Guys, we're on, we're, I mean, we're on your side. Just tell us why you think it's Dr. Light. I swear to you, it's just a lead, Kyle. Nothing more. Really? Then why don't we ask Clark, or better yet, Bruce? I can have him here in a second. Literally. Think I'm bluffing, Ollie? <laughs> Try me. Please. I have to give the good credit. He's not, ju and he's just like hell. No fear. Kyle backs him off. Up. The brave and the bold. Okay, Ralph, why don't you tell them? Ollie, this isn't. No, the boys are all grown up. This one, and, and they need to hear. Let's do it and, and on the way, though. I don't want to lose any more time. They basically explain how one day Dr. Light came onto the satellite. How someday it was sabotaged. They, think it, uh, they argue it was, but no matter what, regardless, he came up there. What was up there? Who knows? But when he found Sue, nice to see you, Sue. Sue, Sue, Susie Q. She was up there just to see the stars. But what does he do then? She threatens to call the button to bring him up there. He flashes, you know, flashes her to bl and blinds her temp temporarily. Beats on her. And this moment. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I'm doing the maths in my head already. This... And oh, I, was, I will no. give the artwork though. They they capture it very well without the words. Yes. But yeah, as soon as they do, they all show up. And, and Barry was there first. They were all showed up and beat him. It's your weakness, isn't it? I finally got it. Oof. I'll find her again. In, you know, then I'll find all of yours. They uh, all tackle him. Now keep an eye on this image because it's going to pop up again later. But something's going to be off. Mm -hmm. Sue. Bun, it's okay, Bun. I've got you. You're safe. We beamed her straight to the, to the hospital. I can't believe it. I never... I fought Light half a dozen times in the Titan. He was always a moron. Yeah, well, he wasn't always that way. Wait a minute. What are you saying? Wally, you have to understand. You told me you turned him in. Ralph, we did our best. What'd you do to him, Ollie? Z, privacy. Z, privacy. Invisible. You weren't there, Wally. You didn't see it. Ralph and Sue may have gone to the hospital, but we had to deal with him. I'll find her again. I swear it'll be easy. Lantern, shut him up. I bet I, I bet her address is even listed. D for Divney. Just let my fingers do the walking. How about you, Flash? I see a wedding ring on, and bulging under that costume. You got someone at home? We need to lock him up. Great, do it. That'll be a whole new audience for the Sue story. My date with Sue Dibney. Hope you didn't forget I could do optics. What's wrong, fellas? Too rough for you? See, make him forget. You sure that's enough? What are you talking about? How many times do we have to do, go through this with light? Even if he forgets the incident, you think he won't do it again? He's got a point, Ollie. That's not for us to decide. Really? So you're willing to take that chance? You're willing to let him go after Carol or Jen or Dinah? I could take care of myself. Not saying we take his mind away from him. Maybe Zatanna can just, I don't know, clean him up a bit? Clean him up. Sides were quickly picked, divided by friendship and lost parents, with one vote to break the deadlock. What's it going to be, Barry? Yay or nay? Hmm. Meanwhile, we're seeing on the villain satellite, Merlin showing up with a bunch of the others as they're heading their way through. Um, someone's there paying off Deathstroke. When, um, yeah, they're all just chit-chatting. When all of a sudden, Doc, you know, and we're also seeing... Um, there's so many of these. Just look at all these villains. But, and then we see Captain Boomerang there, who's kind of become a bit of a fat slob by this point. 
But then, calculator, send me. Please, I need help. I've got money. And I'm like, there's no way Barry voted to mess with Light's head like that. It was less than six months after Iris died. I'm in. So that's it? You took Dr. Light and, and lobotomized him? That was never the goal, Wally. Please realize, I never tried anything like that before. Making someone forget was one thing. But going in, trying to shift his personality even slightly, I didn't mean for the turnout like that. I don't fight, kids. No more teens with capes, okay? I thought this guy was supposed to be tough. That's why he became such a joke? You never told me you played with his mind. You're insane. Do you realize that? You're all insane. Well, if you have to understand, he's downstairs. Just teleported in. Argue later. After we have him. They all charge in. He's not wrong, Ollie. I mean, even if this was the only time you guys mess with someone's head. What? What makes you think it was the only time? But yeah, Ralph goes in there, gets blasted, and then Deathstroke is there. You have to bring in a professional. Meanwhile, we see Dr. Midnight is working on, still trying to figure out what's going on, doing the autopsy. But yeah, we're finding out they're about to go and attack Dr. Light, and of course some of them are trying to figure it out. Um, but they do know, but, but Midnight knows one thing for sure. Dr. Light had nothing to do with it. But he says here, like, the flames hit her skin, but um, by the time the, t the flames hit her skin, Sue was already dead. Hmm. So, is this what you wanted to, make, to talk, um, Carrie? Yeah. I, I felt really bad because this had come out, and there was this uh, guy, and it was when I was still living in Florida at a comic book shop, and he was really excited because he finally started to get his eight-year-old into, like... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! And, you know, this wasn't, this wasn't like, um, an Elseworld story. No, this you know, was canon! Yeah, this was canon, so he was like, oh, look, a crisis event. This is, and, like, I didn't know at the time either, and when I came, I went home and I was reading that whole scene, I was like, oh, my God, how, <laughs> how is he going to explain this? Oh, no, but what did you, where do you stand on the fact that they did this? And the, in the end, I think it amounts I, to nothing, really. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, it was kind of like if... You, you see why I, I wanted get, you on here, right? Because I wanted someone to give, yeah. their, to give their perspective. I get trying to show, like, how dangerous and evil Dark Dr. Light was at one point in his life. Before becoming Prior a bit of a joke. But even then, he wasn't a big joke. That's the people forget. No. He wasn't as ineffectual as they may, they think he is. No, but I, I, I think it's just done here. To kind of like set up a possible, yeah, a shock value and set up a possible suspect. Yeah, and it was all and, meant was for the big. Like, okay, like yeah. if this was like the whole center of the story. But it wasn't. It was all set up for the real center, it, which was the mind alteration and yeah. mind wipe. Wow. Yeah, and 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 yeah, and and we haven't gotten to how bad that mind wipe thing gets. Oh all no, no. Also, we're about to get the villain soonness of of Deathstroke. I hate this. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, Deathstroke it, is it, awesome, but he's too perfect like I, here. Like I said, when I first read the first issue, it was kind of like, okay, all right, I want to see how this goes. And then as time went on, it was kind of like, okay. And, and and there's another thing with Tim. I'll talk about when we get. Yeah, there. we'll that get to that. Me. But yeah, so like. Here's and for the amount he's paying, it on uh, Slade. This isn't your fight. For the amount he's paying, it most certainly is. So this is and this one I do for free. So yeah, basically, he says off explosions. Wally comes and he takes down the Flash. New costume, same old mistakes. What? <laughs> and then he goes in, hits some Zatanna, making her puke. Now see there, you can see the Phoebe Catesness, right? A yeah. little, yeah, yeah. So and and then he cuts off um the um belt that keeps on um Hawkman's wings, and then he um just goes after them. You know, takes out so all of his um all of his arrows, puts a bag on um on Dinah's face so she can't do her sonic cry, and then um grab they put you know um, handcuffs her, uses a laser pointer on the atom, knocking him right into Hawkman, and then he grabs um. Kyle's hand, breaks his fingers. What are you doing? Testing a theory. Uh, it'll never work for you. We'll see about that. He's trying to see if he can counter with his um, willpower. See what I mean? 
Within a few pages, he takes down a bunch of heavy hitters. Slade was never this perfect. How did he get behind Black Canary so fast? (laughs) I know. And but then, watch the birdie. This drives him into a rage, starts fighting on them, until when he sees a similar pose happening of them being done, uh, Dr. and look at the image, Dr. Light's like, you took my mind. (laughs) Oh! Now, originally that was going to be an all-white page, but then it was pointed out, no, people would think that was a printing error. <laughs> Very convenient. I, and uh, and you you okay? Ollie, can you hear me? What happened? Deathstroke took our lunch money. We decided to get it back. It's an easy joke. Designed to distract. Clark's gullible, but he's not that gullible. That's not what I asked. Now, what happened? Why didn't you tell us you were going after Dr. Light? What should we say? Did he want to attack Sue? That we t- and tickle Light's brain to make sure it wouldn't happen again. He doesn't need telescopic vision to know something's wrong. Uh, soups? Ah, crap. It was my idea. Ralph had a run-in with Light a few years ago, but and a few years back, so we thought, well, if it was Light taking revenge, we just wanted to give Ralph the chance to bring him in. The kid is a lot of things, but he's not a snitch. Clark can't argue. If Lois went down, he knew and he'd want the first punch. Like it or not, when it comes to revenge, we've all got a little bit of Bruce in us. I understand. You know it couldn't be Dr. Light, though. It takes him two minutes to catch us up to date. Sue Dibney didn't die from carbon monoxide poisoning. Dr. Midnight, who's working in the autopsy, thinks the burns were used to hide the real cause of death. We're still looking at teleporters, though. Bolt's in the hospital, but Warp is still... Ollie, can I talk to you a sec? Kid, listen, kid, I really appreciate... Stop! Save the sweet talk! And, but what and but what you just did, I did it out of respect for Barry and Hal. Not you. You want to trash your own name? That's fine. But before you trash theirs, I want some answers. Right before Death Drug Attack, you said Dr. Light wasn't the only villain you mind wipe. You never answered my question. How many more were there? You don't understand. The truth, Ollie. Well, I swear on Barry's grave, I'll hand you over to Clark myself. People all, will always say it was simpler back then. But it wasn't. You of all people should know, Wally. Think of what just happened with your identity. And there's a cost to what we do. One day, some loon taking a cape digs up a mystical statue. The next thing you know, he's walking around your body. Sure, we won in the end. But when things like that happen, you don't think they take a look? Perfect. And go get Flash. Yeah, this was an actual event that happened where they swapped bodies. Yeah. But And this is showing the stuff happening in between. Make it a good point. You think they didn't look? Even when it's over. Luther is, go. Joker is, we've got it here. All the big shots carry out at the next fight. No one understands the cleanup. So where are you taking us? Hal, and believe me, there's always cleanup. Oh, Barry, don't look so sad. So you just, you weren't there, Wally. We just buried a father. Lawrence Lance, a mother. Sindel and Della, and a wife. Iris Allen, it was enough. Ali, you crossed the line. We made a choice. And there's not a cape out there who wouldn't do the same. Guys like the Wizard or Light or any of the others. They'd love nothing more than to know where our wives are, where our children seat. If they knew where your mother lived, they'd slice her throat, then go out for a beer. People make fun of secret identities, wondering how we kept them up for so long. It's because we worked at it. All these years, it wasn't coincidence. You think Brainwave just forgot who Barry was? You think Dr. Destiny forgot the time he invaded our dreams? It didn't just happen by itself. We made it happen, and we were okay with it. Until that night was Dr. Light. Making him forget our real names was one thing. Altering someone's personality, that was the end. I threw the first punch. Carter was kind enough to let it end at that. Wait, so that's what you've been fighting about all these years? It wasn't politics? You're not listening, Wally. It's always been politics. And you just, you never told the others, Clark, Bruce, even Arthur, people aren't stupid, Wally. They believe what they want to believe and hear what they want to hear. Now, if you're done judging, we've still got a killer to catch. So, again, now see the James Woodness with him? Yeah. yeah. Calculator. Oh, yeah, so. Go, what? You know what I found funny was that they're talking in ear uh, reach of Superman. But he says, like, though, hear what he wants here, meaning, because remember, Superman can focus on what he listens to. Yeah. And in this case, he's comforting Ralph. So, of course, he's not going to listen too much on everything else. So, basically, we're finding out about um, Boomerang is hearing that he finds out that he has a son. 
So he's trying to get the courage to go meet up with him. Like, listen, you shouldn't park here. It's been, it's private property. Well, no, I was just, I'm leaving right now. No, are you sure you don't have any other jobs that they won't hire you? Listen, I knew you, I knew you when you had those push buttons on your chest. They won't hire you. I'm sorry, Digger, because basically telling him how he's become such a joke. A fat slob joke. Meanwhile, we're seeing more with Tim and his dad. As, and look look how tired he is. Yeah. Is that makeup? I'm just, Jared accidentally elbowed me in the face. I didn't want you to get worried. How about I get you some ice? It's only that his dad knew, and by this point, his dad has finally accepted who he is. How we doing, kid? Layouts bringing down and bring and and breeze and layouts breezing out my jockey and jockey shorts. Give it two more minutes. Front page takes and pages take time. So was it bad? The funeral? It was horrible, Chief. As sad as as sad as Superman's crazy as it sounds. I mean, with all these heroes there, I saw Green Lantern crying. Which one? Old one. Get any photos of it? Come on, Chief. You know we don't. No, no. You, I know. You always do it right. But if and, but if you did but if you did get some photos, Chief, <laughs> want to know what really creeps me out though? I mean, whoever did this, they clearly targeted Sue Dimning, knowing she was one of the hero's wives, right? So what if they're not stopping there? What if that's the plan? Pick up all the wives, strike where it really hurts, right? Now you're sounding like a cable show. You'll see, Chief. It's not a bad theory. Yeah, well, even if it is true, what makes you think they're going to go for wives? Why not husbands, kids, even co-workers? Hell, if they want to really hurt, why not go after the hero's best pal? Beep! All of a sudden, no. Please, please don't. Ray, Ray, please help me. Why are you doing that? Oh, jeez. What? What? So again, what did now? Let's talk about that. The real center of the story, the mind wipes. Right. Where do you? I think the idea works. Because it, it makes does. sense. It makes sense given how it's taking. Now, what, what I was it. That's the one part of the Silver Age concepts I can accept. The idea of them going, you are mind wiping them because those are stuff you didn't think about back then. But nowadays you would. But it's the grim and gritty fying of the Silver Age that I cannot stand. <laughs> yeah, but with this, they take it too far. We haven't gotten to that part yet, so I don't want. No, to we haven't. It, but... No, we haven't yet. But. Did you notice someone that was in the group shot? I don't say who it was, dead guy, but did you notice there was someone else there who mm -hmm. wasn't there earlier? I did. We'll get there. Oh, yeah, we're seeing Gene being so strangled. Um, but then Ray came, shows up there just in time, destroys the rope, and saves her. I got you, hun. Can you hear me? Gene, can you hear me? Don't go, Gene. And just like the old days. So now they're trying to figure out what happened with Gene now. Because again, nothing seems to indicate anything. Hmm. All right. He used a bow a bowline knot. A what? A bowline knot. To um I, I love it. It's a common Boy Scout knot. I love him and hate him in the very same brass. Boy Scout. Right. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! big blue Boy Scout. <laughs> but yeah, basically they're trying to figure out um like he was waiting for her, hiding behind the door as, the, as she stepped in. She barely, and basically did what she explained happened. His real name, Slipknot, is what they're trying to claim. They're trying to claim it was Slipknot who did it. Like the band? No, like the bad guy. I want yeah. someone to talk to Slipknot. There's a rumble in Clark's voice that he usually reserved just for Bruce. At first, I thought it was anger or annoyance. It's not. It's fear. The killer is systematically targeting our wives, and bulletproof skin is useless against grief. Relax, Clark. I know exactly who to bring. Um, you know, Mr. Uh, Arrow, if you could just and just no weapons near the and near the cell. So they go up to see. Um, like, now they turns out Slipknot had found um, Cobra, so he's basically going to become a zealot. I gotta say this. I like this. To my surprise, he's not staring at her rack. He's smart. He knows the real action is what's about 12 inches lower and attached to her hip. I love this. This uh -huh. gives her a godlike, goddess-like feel, doesn't it? 
Mm-hmm. It'd make her scary when walking into your jail cell. Yeah. I'm not afraid of you, you know? I've heard, and I, I even heard Plastique told me it didn't work, but that was all bullshit. Like, she can pull you through those bars, even though you don't fit. Now, what do you know about the attacks on Stu Dibney and G. Loring? What do you mean he didn't know anything? You can put it down now, son. We we questioned him. We questioned him for almost an hour, Clark. Believe me, he wasn't holding anything back. And at the end there, I really wish we he would have. Once people get that lasso on, it's like they're in therapy. So where does that leave us? Oracle, the first murder looked like it was done by Dr. Light. The second one and it looked like Slipknot. The only thing those two have in common is they were both members of the Suicide Squad, which means we can narrow it down to just about half the lunatics out there. <laughs> I love it, and like, and all like, zoom, like, don't take, and I don't, don't take that tone with me. We're trying our best, our best. We're hunting and pecking like amateurs. You saw it at the funeral, Clark. People are starting to panic, and when we start to panic, you better expect, believe that the exact same moment the other side starts to take advantage. As I saying, a group of the villains are all there: Kronos, Merlin. Many of them are all there, just talking about the things out because they have no idea what's going on either. Meanwhile, Boomerang's still there. Like, you're Captain Boomerang, aren't you? I, uh, are you my dad? How'd you know? You're famous. No, I mean, how'd you know I'm your dad? Tablet reporter's been following me for all week. One of them even tossed me a Boomerang, hoping to get me in with a photo with it. I threw it back at him and sliced off his earlobe. Listen, I'm sorry for leaving you. It's okay. My mom's cool. I mean, not as cool as, you know, this, but still. So you're, so you're good with a boomerang, I guess. Not that there's much you can do with it. Actually, there's a lot you can do with it. <laughs> I guess, now, basically, given what happened with boomerang, Jeff Johns wasn't happy with what the plans were until um, Rag said, what if I bring another one? Oh, I love this image of Batman here, don't you? Yeah, Yeah, that's classic. That Batman's classic. realizing this doesn't make sense. It's not the squad. There was no benefit. So, but, um, it, poor Ralph, poor Ralph. But yeah, who benefits? Who benefited when, when that happened? Everyone went back into their loving arms or what, uh, you know, everyone started getting closer together. That's a good twist there too. When you think about it, of course, oh, then Ollie no. goes to see the specter who's Hal and they're trying to talk about it. You know, like really missed you and pal. Unfortunately, he can't tell them. There are certain rules he can't tell them as much as he wants to. I love this. When are you really coming back? I'm working on it. Ha! Nice reference to Green Lantern Rebirth. Loring and Loring attack. Who's next? I know who your husband is. You're next. Uh oh. Crap. Uh -oh. And now here comes the other big issue. Oh, yes. But yeah, we're seeing all the villains. They get attacked by the League. All right. What do you say, Robin Hood? Ready to shoot at each other? Or are you scared to go back to the grave? You actually painted all these tips black. <laughs> so yeah, I love it. Got a few seconds to chat. I love it. What do you know? I love that. That is chilling, isn't it? Yeah. But then, while dealing with Shadow Thief, he takes some um, Shining Knight's sword and just stabs Firestorm with it. Meanwhile, we're seeing um, Gene and Ray are getting close to, closer together again. You know, they're feeling that old spark again. Meanwhile, I'm going to blow up. This is bullshit! Bullshit yeah. because he never did this. It took in the Firestorm book for them to later retroactively said that the longer he was using his powers and being Firestorm, the more he actually became like a nuclear reactor. So at this point, Ronnie Raymond is dead. They just killed him because <laughs> they felt like there wasn't enough body bags. <laughs> yeah. Seems unclimactic. Yeah. M meanwhile, we're seeing... Um, Captain Boomerang is showing his son what to do with it. He even shows him the razor one. But it turns out he also has super speed. He's a speedster. 
Oh. Which is something they're bringing into the Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. Golden Glider isn't my mother, is she? No. We're seeing in Tim's heading out there. He's telling like, just be careful. And yeah, he's giving this whole, this big talk like, maybe it'd be better if you stayed in tonight. I mean, you're 16 year olds. You shouldn't be running around a mask and a cape. Don't you think it's a little late for that? You really think I shouldn't stay? Be honest, Dad. You really think I'm better off sitting here watching all this happen on the news? No. You should go. Definitely go. Thanks, Pop. I'm proud of you, son. Jack Drake. Protect yourself. This is Oracle. Hi, uh, this is, uh, sir, can I help you? I'm looking for Robin. I think my life may be in danger. All the while, they're still doing autopsy. Someone sent me a gun. Stay where you are, Mr. Drake. I'm calling him right now. I can handle it, I think. I think I may need some help. Zoom! Something ju just crashed on my woof roof. Whoever it is, you tell the police I'm shooting if he comes inside. I'm getting your son now, Mr. Drake. He's on my roof. You're my witness. I'm just defending myself. Just stay away from the windows, Mr. Drake. Thanks for picking and picking me up. I was, Tim, get home now. What are you talking about? What's wrong? It's your dad. And Mr. Drake, I got him. And listen to me. If something happens, tell him I love him. Understand? Make sure he hears that. Barbara, patch me through. Patch me through, Tim. Dad, dad, are you there? I'm fine. I think he's in the hallway. I've got it, though. I'm fine. Dad, this isn't some African safari. Get out of there. He's definitely in the hall. Barbara, well, call Wally. Already tried. He's not picking up. Please, Bruce, please help him. Just keep my boy safe. Please just keep him safe. Not again. We're going to make it, Dad. We're going to make it. He's at, the, he's at the door. Dad, Tim, if something happened, nothing's going to happen. Tim, I need you to focus. Nothing's going to happen, Tim. You have one message for, hey, uh, hey there, it's me, Dad. You listening? You listening, Tim? Good. Did understand one thing? If you don't get here, it's not your fault, Dad. I need you to know this, Tim. It's not your fault, okay? You didn't do this, but I, I love you, Tim. I love you just like your mother loves you. I, I just, I want to say how great it was today. Honest, just, it was great. Anyway, if you have some time, make sure to watch the news tonight. Your and your old dad's gonna finally make you proud. Oh no! Don't worry. This is the, the one, lad. I mean, the real one. The one that puts me, that puts us back on the map. Dad, please, what, and what you do for all these people, it's worth it, Tim. Never question it. It's worth it. Dad, we're almost there. Tell Bruce to take care of you. So anyway, I, I can't wait to see you later. And watch the news, okay? Because this time, I'm leaving our calling card. A calling card. Our car. Boom! Dad! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh man! Go ahead, Carrie. <laughs> the build-up to that was really good, but that was I, the best part of it. Yeah, but I I was also at the time feeling another Robin that's an orphan. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> they because they wanted they decided they wanted to make Tim more like Bruce. Yeah, and I was like, uh, now, uh -huh. uh, Dad, Tim, if the police are there, Dad, I'm coming. Barbara, is he? Tim, you have to understand. There was nothing any of us could do. Dad, he doesn't. And he doesn't feel for our pulse. Thanks to and thanks to his training, he knows the outcome. But he still ignores it. Get it out. Get it out, please, please, please. Tim, it's okay. It's okay. I've got you. Oh. Damn. So yeah, similar thing happening. Of course. Um. Owen wants to go and see his dad, but they don't like it. And they tell him off by saying, oh, yeah, you think we don't know what you're going to do? You're going to take him here and try to resurrect him. We're not morons. They don't know that this, and this guy is actually a decent guy. What's he doing here? I don't know what you're talking about. Him. I don't know what you're talking about. Batman, he's right there. Let me say it again, son. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no one here but us agents. Hmm. Son, don't pick a fight. Not here. Take him from me. The best thing you could do is go home and take some time and be thankful for you had that time that you did together. Oh, Connor just giving his dad a hug. Oh, and now notice Clark and Bruce is taking the, the, the note. We're seeing like we've all lost brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, wives. 
husbands, mothers, and of course, father. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I'm sorry, Dick. I'm sorry, Tim. Hmm. Hey, front page, Dad. Just like you wanted. How was your day? Hard. Harder than it's been in a while. And hold on, give me one sec. Just one sec. My smoke alarm's beeping. Oh, no. Of course, the bad guys get away because of the Suicide Squad. And, oh, I love this. This King Lear pose. Yeah, that's messed up. Of course, Owen's going to take up being Captain Boomerang. This is, this is yours. We're not done. He's already gone. I checked. Any word about Boomerang? Government is burying the body. Rumor is the rogues are planning a funeral. You guys are a real pain in the ass, you know that? I mean, Boomerang. We got pants by Boomerang. He really kicked the crap out of us, didn't he? Worse than Dr. Light and Destro combined. Yeah. So basically now he brings up how Batman was there. Like you said there were seven of you. So so when the, uh, Light went all supernova, that image he sent, well, Bruce was there. Was Batman. That's eight. How come you didn't mention Batman the first time? What? He was there, wasn't he? What happened, Ollie? You're not, what are you not saying? Fine, be stubborn. I'll just call Bruce and you have to understand. I don't have to understand anything. Now tell me what happened. Don't be flip, Wally. This isn't some schoolyard slap fight. When Dr. Light attacked Sue, we voted to wipe his mind. But that wasn't the only vote we took that night. Wait, oh God, you took Bruce's memories? Wally, before you, you took Bruce's memories. We had to, had to, had to. You don't understand. I'm the fastest man alive. I've got all the time in the world. Explain it to me. Like I told you before, Bruce and Clark were always there for the fight, but rarely for the cleanup. Okay, Jim, I'm on my way now. Ralph, you should get Stu to the hospital. That night was no different. Different, But because it was Stu, Bruce came back. And at that exact moment, it was all over. What are you doing? Bruce, you don't understand. He said that. You think you've seen him mad. You've never seen him mad. Not like this. Get off of him! It was a tough night for all of us. He came at us in anger. We reacted with the same. No question. We panicked. But Carter had it right. With Bruce, the secret would never be safe. Hey, Bruce would never stand for it. Not without his say-so. Oh, God. Let him go! What the hell are you thinking? It was a league within a league. The league. Just between the seven of us. And right there, we took our second bow of the night. Don't you dare. Ollie, think for a second. This time it was unanimous. The alternative would have meant the destruction of the league. It's just this moment, just the past 10 minutes. If this hurts him, as though it, and he doesn't want to believe it, some things are bigger than Batman. How, you, you, how could you do that? Trust me, Wally, we didn't come to the decision easily. But in case you didn't notice, in some battles, both sides lose. You still walked away, Ollie. You let them do it. This is Batman we're talking about. You can't do that to Batman. You think he hasn't done the same to us? He'd never do that. You you believe what you want to believe. You're telling me I'm wrong? Haven't you learned anything yet? Think about your own life, Wally. Everything you've done to keep your secret safe, you don't just wear the mask for yourself. It's for your wife, your parents, even for one day your children. There are animals out there, Wally. And when it comes to family, we can't always be there to defend them. But the mask will. So this it. So that's it. Bruce still has no idea. Believe me, Wally. The man's a detective. He always had an idea. This is calculator. No, it's me, Merlin. What happened to you? Of course. And Deadshot called Waller. Waller called Loser. And Loser called his old White House counsel boy. We're all doing and and now doing white collar defense work. God bless their loafers. Basically, he reveals how he. Had no idea about the gun. He would never send Boomerang out there for a suicide mission where he's actually going to die. And we see um, Light disappear. Batman shows up. Bat. We're not all morons. And he's, of course, laughing at him. Um, but soon he's going to find out the, uh, in the mid med medulla, her brain. Sue's body, was, uh, Sue's body was buried after the funeral. The only reason to do that is to hide something, to undo the edges of the puzzle. As they're noticing, though, oh, no. What caused it? Someone grew, and there's feet print on her brain. They're trying to find Ray. Meanwhile, we see him with, um, with Gene. Why, why are you so surprised? He's been trying to kill us for years. 
but Captain Boomerang, I'm just happy it's over. Actually, I'm happy for a little more than that. Dr. Palmer, I'm not sure I like that look in your eyes. What look? I don't see anything. Hmm. Hmm. So this is the problem. There isn't really a mystery here because the big, um, the important information comes near the end. Yeah, and there's too many, like, uh, what was it, detours. Like, they're like, we're going to set this whole issue up about this person being the suspect, but it leads to really nothing. <laughs> All the whole point of the story was this big event revealed the Justice League's biggest secret, even though it had nothing to do with that secret. And all I want to say is I don't want to ever hear them bitch about Batman doing his contingency plans on them. Never yeah. again. Never again. Now, of course, now it turns out this completely undoes what was done before. Like, Dr. Palmer, are you actually hitting on me? I'm trying. How am I doing? I've seen better. See, now you're just trying to push my buttons. Why wouldn't I? Doesn't every woman want her buttons pushed? It's good to have you back, Jean, and, and to have you safe. Speaking of which, did they ever find out who wrote that Protect Yourself note to Jack Drake? No, that's the... How'd you know there was a note? Ray. It's not Ray. The note, it was in the papers. No, it wasn't. Batman took that note for himself. The papers never saw it. I'm telling you, I... How'd you know there was a note there, Gene? Ray, what are you? Oh, my God. Ray, it's not how you... Oh, my God. Did you send that note in gun? Ray, calm down. Answer me! Ray, answer me! Are you crazy? Of course not! If she's not lying, there's not a hint of it on her face. But I know my wife, and I know why she became an ex. Yeah, I should point out, Jean does have a history of being crazy. She did go batch insane once. Like, you once you found my old costume in the basement, didn't you? That's why there was no physical evidence. It was all microscopic. Oh, Lord. Please tell me you didn't kill Sue. I didn't mean to. I just, I missed you, Ray. I really missed you. Oh, my God. I wasn't trying to kill her, I swear. I just wanted to knock her out, just to, you know, scare everyone a bit. I figured when word got out, Ralph would come running and Clark would race to Lois, and maybe if, it was, if I was lucky, I know it sounds stupid and childish, but I just thought, you thought I'd come running back to you. And you did, Ray. You did. I was worried that we might not have the spark, but once you were here, it was just like the old days, wasn't it? Oh, God, you're insane. I'm not, Ray. I know how it looks, but it really was. It was just an accident. I mean, even after all the practice, once I got in there... Hello? Hello? Ralph, is that you? It was so disorienting. I swear I only increased my mass and my atomic mass by a twelfth. Next thing I know, Sue's on her knees in mid-convulsion. Ralph, please, are you there? I shrunk... That Here's the dumbest part! I shrunk down some other weapons just in case, and in the panic, I just... I didn't want to go to jail. Why did she have a flamethrower? <laughs> I told As you this whole ending was just like, why? Yeah, As Jean oh, says the words, my stomach sinks down to my testicles. For once a week, for over a week, Bruce has been asking the same question over and over. The only question we couldn't answer. Who benefits? Thanks for staying home tonight, Clark. Who benefits? I miss you, Ray. Who benefits? I love you, Dad. So who benefits when the family members of a hero is killed? The family members of all the other heroes. You, you killed her. You killed Sue. Jean, she was our friend. I'm telling you what. Don't call it an accident. Don't insult her like that. It was, though, Ray, just like with Tim's dad. Gene, you hired Boomerang and sent Tim's dad a gun to shoot him. Are you really that deluded? How is that an accident? Don't go defending Boomerang. He killed far more pe people than... You killed Tim's father, Gene. The boy's an orphan. Ray, don't do this. I didn't think he'd die. Why'd you think I heard a scrub? I figured Tim's dad would pull the trigger and he'd be safe. Yeah, sure. I got someone cheap. Do you have any idea what you've done? Of course. I brought us together. Just like, just like, just like it used to be. What? Now you're mad? Don't look at me like that, Ray. You should be thanking me. Oh, I get it. Now comes the condemnation. Please, Ray, you're not Bruce. What? What are you going to do? Punch me in the jaw with the big knockout punch? Take me to the cops and lock me away? I'm your wife, Ray. You can't just throw me uh, throw me in some cell and toss the key. Arkham Asylum! We'll determine the appropriate medication. That said, I can only imagine how difficult this is for you, Dr. Palmer. Dr. Palmer, are you okay? Yeah. Doc, can you hold this for me? But Dr. Palmer, the league, it, it says here you're needed. No, they don't. Dr. Palmer, there's still paperwork. 
Or where are you going? It's a fair question. Don't give him an answer. Take care of my wife. The only thing I know right now is I need to get out and get away by myself. My ex-wife killed one of our best friends. For me, I've never felt so small. Boop. So we see everyone's calming down and they're realizing like, oh, it all makes sense. No, it doesn't. Um, apparently then she was also tortured by the inmates. <laughs> now we see other things. For example, like, told you we win. Um, we see Firestorm and Firehawk. She's ready to retire. Tim, it's Dick. I know you're there. Come on, Tim, pick up. Can't believe she's gone. Talk to her. What? Listen to me. I know. Talk to her, Ralph. She can hear every word. Tim, pick up. Please, kiddo, pick up. I know you can hear me, Tim. Still no word from Ray? Carter's been trying for three day, three times a day. I don't think he can get a response. And Gene? Ralph actually went to see her. I told him not to, but he needed the closure. Dinah said she was just so doped up, she kept filling with her hospital bracelet, calling it a wedding band. I still can't believe how ruthless she was. That's what they say, right? Right? If you want a good enemy, choose a friend. They know exactly where to strike. You're a real whack job, aren't you? Someone has to be. By the way, I was talking to Clark, and we just, well, we were thinking, if you weren't too busy or had some free time, Wally, how many times do I have to tell you I'm a reserve member? There's no reason for me to rejoin the league. Actually, we just wanted to know if you wanted to go to dinner sometime, like you used to do with Clark and Barry. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. Real great. Great. You're so creeped out by us wiping Bruce's mind, aren't you? You shouldn't have. Don't judge, Wally. But you ruined it. Don't you understand? You ruined it. Yeah, I thought the same thing for years. But the league endures. That's what it's designed to do. The league always endures. Not if you... I'm not debating, Wally. Not tonight. What about Bruce? You really think he still doesn't know? Remember what I said last week? That Clark hears what he wants to hear? Yeah, Bruce knows what he wants to know. And more than any of us, he also knows that you should never underestimate what someone will do for the people they love. Mom, Dad, please take care of Jack Drake and our friend Sue. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I think so. Maybe you should take some time off. Ma, you know I can't do that. That's not what I do. I know. You just said that, and that's all I put on the costume, didn't you? That's what mothers are for. You really do look and handsome, though. Mm -hmm. uh, I love you, Ma, no matter what. Exactly, Clark. No matter what. So they're acting like seems like Flash. Yeah, can you head that up? Flash? Flash, do, do you hear what I... Is there a problem, Wally? Nothing. I was... Say what you're thinking. Nothing. I just... No problem at all. Sir, Clayface says, I got it, Alfred. Jean, I should go. I should too. The ring sa just saying there's a bombing in. Meeting is adjourned. Everything seems to be going back to normal. Are you nuts? I can't tell him that. Because he's, I don't know, because he's Clark. Yeah, but that's just it. You can't tell Superman his wife's a crappy cook. No, no, I know. No, I know. Of course, it's still nice of them to invite me. Tomorrow? Can't tomorrow. I, I have dinner with Wally and Kyle. Yeah, they're good boys. Meanwhile, you got to hear this story Ollie told me. No, just listen. There's a 90-year-old man who, named Benny who's on his deathbed. And next to him, holding his hand, as always, is his wife, Dottie. So Benny says, Dottie, we've been married for over 60 years. When I was drafted into the war, you were by my side. When we lost every penny in the stock market, you were by my side. And now here I am on my deathbed. And again, you're right by my side. Dottie, my love, after all these years, I just want to tell you, you're a jinx. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Oh, please, you haven't heard that one before. How do I know? Because I'm your husband, that's. You do, and you have to go? No, don't worry. I'll speak to you later. No, I'm fine, bun. I'm great. Great. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Sue. I love you, too. So. <laughs> what, and for, and what did you think, first of all, uh, the guy? The ending was. That cringy. ruins it, doesn't it? It was yeah. cringy. Yeah. I mean, everything was good until the end of the second to last issue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't say it was all good. The rape was not needed. In the end, it amounted to nothing but leading the Dr. Light becoming a rapist. And that's all they planned on him was rape, 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 rape. Nothing but rape. See, yeah. now, I kind of 
I kind of thought for a second they would be really adult about it, and at that point it would turn out that with the um, pregnancy test it was Light's kid. No, but yeah, this, this was long that ago. That would have been something long... to explore. But but, that they... was, but this was long ago though. It's when it happened. It happened decades ago for them. Still though, that's where I thought that might have went. No, yeah, yeah I get never, you. It never even went anywhere. I was just kind of like, okay, that was. Really it was hard done for shock value. For it was. Um, it was done exactly. for shock. It was done for shock value to try and give a reason for them to mess with Doctor Light's mind. They could have done something else. They could have done anything. But you know what the one thing that really bothered me is, if he raped her, if she had such a painful memory of it, why would she be such good buddies with the female Doctor Light? That's the problem with a retcon like this. It, there, it, there's some things that doesn't add up. Yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah, and like he didn't even play a big part in this whole story. No, after. the whole you know the whole point was that oh, Bram Meltzer wanted to uh, make him a serious threat again. And like I said, unfortunately, except for Jeff Johns handling him in the Titans, most other writers handling him are like, "Ooh, I love to rape people." I'm not kidding. That's all he was until they killed yeah. him off a final crisis. And then Dr. Light, the female Dr. Light, got her powers back. I don't know. Yeah, that was it was great. And then Deathstroke, that, that whole thing made no sense. He was a villain, Sue. The killing off of Tim Drake's dad was done. This was basically a case where a story was made was wanted, but then they decided let's try and put in some other aspects so we can add to it, you know, add to it. They either make this more of an event or or we want to add in some stuff. We want, like, let's kill off Tim's dad because we want to make him more like Batman. So let's do it in this event. It's like, yeah. I can understand if it's like something. I felt like they were setting up a lot of stuff to be told in other stories, not in this story. There were some tie-ins that tied into it, but they brought it to nothing. Yeah. This is not really a crisis at all. And unfortunately, you know what ended up being the spiritual successor to this book? Heroes in Crisis. Uh -oh. <laughs> Which is worse. I would say yeah. there's at least some good in this. Some good moments. Here with Incredible was all crap. Oh, no. But yeah, but seriously, though, I mean, again, there are good mo mo moments in here. But can you see now why people are now saying it's not the big, uh, the, a great book anymore? Well, yeah. And again, the darkening of the Silver Age was, oh, God, that was just disgraceful. Again, and they did Sorry. The conflict with Batman could have been really brought into this too, finding out what they did. And they well, saved that for they, later. They, do, they, they saved that for later. There was a JLA run, and that's what led up to his paranoia reaching its apex and infinite crisis with Brother Eye. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so still, some, though, the mind wipe stuff. I mean, I felt like, I know it sounds pretty weird, but I felt like this had a very Watchmen tone to it. It was it almost did. like I'm watching a. a whole separate universe of DC characters live out this weird event. I don't, I don't know. And, and, and then Firestorm's death was the most pointless out of all of them. That felt so, so tacked on. <laughs> we at need least, another body count. Yeah. At least need... Tim's de dad's death made sense. because it felt with the continue with the theme of Sue's death and Gene getting attacked. It made sense. Yeah. But Firestorm just so like, whoops. Oopsie. Like, I'm going to blow up. When could he blow up? Now, the right. artwork, though, was incredible. Wouldn't you at least give that? Rags yes. is an incredible artist. Yes, yes. I it's, was going to say the artwork was he is a, That was the one saving grace and some of the, the story beats. And I saw it. Ollie made a lot of sense in here. Mm-hmm. He was an ass, but that's Ollie for you. Ollie's yeah, always been an ass. They actually did him justice, I think. They did his character justice in this. Uh, even though it didn't make it, it made him, even though it made him less endearing. Yeah, but that's it's Ollie. Ollie. Yeah, that's Ollie. <laughs> but I loved Wally in here. Kept calling Ollie out on his shit to think, are you crazy? What, what, what are you, crazy? Yeah. But you could definitely tell that Tana was pained by all this. And that would be a big part in the JLA arc that bridged Identity Crisis with yeah. um, everything. Cool. Yeah, but so overall, what would you rank this? I'd give this a 5 or a 6 out of 10. That would be right about... It was It was up in the 7, 8s until we got to... The, the, the ending. Estranged ex-wife being jealous. That was just... Come on, guys. <laughs> I know. Uh, like I said, if Gene had a no, known for having a mental break once before... Back during Roger Stern's run long ago. But for the most part, though, it just here makes no sense. And I'm sorry, 
Bring in the flamethrower. That's where you're like. Killed me. Like what? Where I, I brought I brought that? weapons just in case. It's like I don't want to kill her, but I brought weapons <laughs> just in case I might have to burn down an entire apartment building. This is why. This I is why. It's, this is why it's a shitty mystery. It's not a mystery at all. It's, There's nothing almost, in here. I'm sorry. It's almost like I wouldn't mind if like Doctor Light had discovered about the secret and maybe manipulated her into doing all this. Yeah. Uh, or what if? He was coming in to do something to Sue right when and maybe because they clearly realized the light portion, him getting serious to the light, is different than phasing. Hence why he didn't get triggered. That's part of the reason why they saw it could have been him. What if he came there to do something? Who knows what? And then she started to convulse over and fall down. He's like, Uh oh. That wasn't me. <laughs> I didn't touch her. I didn't touch her. But he's like, They're not gonna believe me. The sen- realize that the sensor the way like, they're not gonna believe me. They're not gonna believe me. Whoosh! And then takes off. Like, have it be he was responsible for the burning. You still keep jeans with her craziness. Yeah. But at least it would give more reason for that. I mean, again, I get it. The idea is, because a lot of times, that's, that's how a lot of times a lot of big, dank, dark secrets get revealed through something that was inconsequential, had nothing to do with it, but you saw it did, but people saw it did, so the truth came out. I get it. That happens in real life. More times than the truth that's getting blown out. And sometimes it comes out through an accident. Yeah. So, but again, it amounted to when you have this much retconning yeah. and changes, it makes, like I said, the, the mind wipes. Perfect sense. Perfect sense when you're trying to add in more realism to these old Silver Age ideas of like, yeah, they swap bodies. Why do you, you can't say they didn't look. You <laughs> cannot say that. That I understood. And that, and that made sense. Even nowadays. Yeah. I think if it was just the mind wipes, it would have been fine. It would have been shady. It's dark. But it makes sense. It's very dark. Yeah. But then the, it's the Dr. Light stuff and then the Batman stuff that throws everything out of whack. It just felt like you have Dr. Light. Now you're Batman. It's like, what's next, Superman? Man, I'm telling you, if I was Batman and I found that they did that to me, oh. if, I just realized, if you notice, aside from at the funeral, we vengeance. never saw. Yep, I say, did you really say that aside from at the funeral, we never really saw Diana's face again? No. no aside from the funeral. Enough. Yep. Good point. I still love that hip shot of her lasso. I still love that. That was such a powerful. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't really think about that till you just mentioned it. It was. Not a that single was, shot that had Wonder Woman and it showed her face. Except for the funeral. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We saw mm. more of Superman and Batman, but Wonder Woman. I wonder what that was all about. I think that was just coincidence. I think that's because they said like there was no need to see her face anywhere. But throughout all, but yeah, I guess that. I mean, oh, Carrie, any more other words you want to give about this? No, I think I pretty much said it like that, like you said with that whole rape scene. Like, I, if they were playing more into Dr. Light, having more of a part of it, it might have been much more acceptable. Exactly. Like, if he was the mastermind behind all these deaths, like, maybe he caught her killing Sue and then decided, I'm just going to make her the killer of all these people. And they, you know, and then Batman finding out she only did the one murder and he did everything else. Oh, no, again. I could say, I just say, I say the opposite. I say keep Dr. Light there only for the burning. I can see Gene doing all the other stuff. Because what would Dr. Light have to gain? Because, again, it's all who benefits. That made sense. Who benefits? The family members of the other heroes. That made sense. In a twisted way. It's a weird deal. Like, he caught her and he covered it up for her. Yeah, but well, but it seems though he covered. He didn't know who he was covering it up for. It could be what it is. He had no idea who. He's just like, what just happened? He's crap. His own ass and, and yeah, I could see that happening more than anything else. Him kind of cover okay. his own ass, and then Gene is doing it, but they're all focused on light because he's the only one there with the well, the you know, caught red-handed, caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Until it's then made clear. Yeah, but it it wouldn't be until Dr. Midnight would then say, oh, she was already dead by the time he burned her, that they would realize he didn't do anything wrong other than being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. I mean, that would have been 
better than what we got. Yeah, but again, it's Gene. Everything about now that, but we saw we saw the hands tying around, you know, on um Gene, you know, and everything. It's like how did that lead to her then just using the shrink way to get herself in, the, in there? It's like who knocked her around? Now that though, we saw Sue get tossed onto the table. So unless she lost her balance and fell backwards, there's a lot of the artwork clashes with what, what we're told. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like a cheap trick at that point. Yeah. Again, no. I'm glad I had both of you on to talk about this. See, though, this is like I said, there's good to like about this, but yeah. it's, and I can see why back then, because of how shocking it was, why it was considered a bigger deal. But nowadays, it's a footnote. These days, these days, it's a footnote, and unfortunately, it's what led to DC really going down the dark path for a while, long while. I do like dark, but I mean, as not long like as this. There's, as there's a point. You know, like if you're gonna do yeah, something like with it, don't. This is what you're doing to try and catch don't up. Don't do that just, just to get a few people to buy the issue and yep. then never carry on with the rest of that story. It seems like it just seems like a huge waste, and that. Yeah, it basically, it left it for other books to deal that with. Way, it. It's almost offensive. It, you know it left what I mean? For, like, yep. Yeah. It left for other books to deal with the end result. They like it, almost very little was actually resolved by the end of this book, other than Gene. Yeah. And even Gene would eventually go on to become the new Eclipso. Really? <laughs> yeah, but, but I was saying, so do you feel like this was them marvelizing DC with this story? Uh, not really marvelizing, but... Oh, that's, that's, I'm saying that's the word people threw around back then. Was, okay, this was the marvelizing. Okay. I'd say trying to grow up and put big boy pants on is what I think they were trying to do. And but it sounded like it, it felt like a teenager doing it, thinking, "Look exactly. how adult I am." When exactly. there's like, when it's like you're not it's like, and it, this is a professional novelist writing this, and yet he, this is what he comes up with. <laughs> Again, Brad Mills is a good writer. I liked his JLA run, but this was just a hodgepodge. It's a hodgepodge. That's, that's yeah, it's almost like editorial it. said, this is who we want to be the end villain. Work on it. And he went, all right. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's it feel like. Doesn't it feel like he had one thing in mind and it went a different direction? Like, if it was the raid, that would have worked. Yeah. Yeah. In the long run, we need it to be somebody's ex-wife. I know, but work there, it there, out. the Ray, because that, that's it. The Ray would have worked because you're like, he wanted to get back with Gene, not the other way around. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It was making it be Gene that made zero sense. There's motive there. There's motive there. With jealousy is not. I don't even. Granted, would people jealousy. wanted that for? But I think at the last second they chickened out. I think they chickened out the last second, and felt like, no, we can't do this array. We can't do this array. <sighs> I wonder about we the time see, period though. Yep. All right, though. So that's all we've got to say on this one. Thank you all yeah. for joining me, and we'll see you, you all on the next one. Take Bye. Care. Bye.